Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel and I know this video is a little bit overdue but let's take a look back from last year and let's talk about my top 5 favorite clothing brands from the Philippines of 2019. Two thousand nineteen was really big for the clothing industry in the Philippines. Everyone's innovating. Everyone's like coming up with really good designs. Based on my observation, I am really confident to say that the Philippine clothing is a million peso industry at this point. In case you didn't know, I made a video about how to start a clothing brand in Tagalog. If you're one of those guys who wanted to start a clothing brand in the Philippines, you can check out my video at this link. I think I've been talking too much for this intro. With Without further ado, let's go to my top 5 favorite clothing brands in the Philippines. On the 5th spot, this goes to Strap. Strap is founded on 2013 by my good friend Edel Castaneda. It's a brand from Cebu that is heavily influenced by skateboarding. I really love their stuff. I love the aesthetics of the design. It's really simple, easy to wear, and it's really catchy. It carries a lot of pride in Cebu. I really enjoy checking out brands that inject the hometown element on their products. They also have a lot of skateboarding montages, short videos that made the brand really interesting trap you, sh you should check it out I really love their stuff and yeah I find this really interesting when I knew about the backstory of this clothing brand when they started number four on my list is Nemesis Artwear. It is rare to see a clothing brand that is being run by a lady boss like Erin. Nemesis Artwear was founded around 2017. From what I know, Nemesis Artwear was based on her life experiences. I think this makes her brand stand out. I think this is really unique basing on her experience like what I said and uh, it's like women empowerment. I can see women empowerment through her designs. I can see the passion in the brand and I love how the designs have been executed. I think I I find it cool. It's really strong. It has this Japanese feel. I'm a big fan of their designer which is Seth Sarita. Big shout outs to you man. You've done a really great job on the designs. I'm a big fan and uh, hope you can generate more designs like this in the future. I love the chemistry of the brand. Uh, Seth and Erin is working together on these kind of designs and this kind of aesthetics. It's really good. That's the way to go. Couple power, man. I think that's basically it. And uh, I love your work, guys. Hoping to see more of this kind of DNA from you, from you guys. Nemesis artwork, guys. Check it out. Number three, and this goes to Daily Grind. Daily Grind is founded by Joey and Raymond of Team Manila. They've been in the industry for quite a long time already and hands down to you guys for running the business for this long. As you know, it's not easy to run a brand consistently for over like more than 10 years. I'm a really big fan of their design. I think it leans towards the graphic design aesthetics. They're the ones who popularized the line since day one. What strikes me most from this brand is the the community that's behind it. I can see the Filipino street culture in there. I love their color combinations from their products. They don't fail to innovate new products, these accessories, the hats, the stickers. I love them all. Salute to you guys. I'm a big fan. If you haven't checked them out yet, you can find them all over the Philippines. They're on Brat Pack, they're on Team Manila stores and selected department stores, I guess. And check them out online. And see for yourself why I put them on top three on my list. Number two, and I would be surprised if you don't know this brand. Don't blame the kids. Guys, they're one of the biggest brands in the Philippine streetwear industry right now. Don't blame the kids are founded by brothers Emil and Vince. I'm actually impressed how this brand blew up in the industry. I highly respect their values of their brand and I can see the vision is there for this brand. I love how they live by the words dream big, start small. Of course, we can reflect to that saying because everybody start small right this is the brand that I can really relate to why when we started Nick automatic way way back 10 years ago we always have our struggles and I can reflect to don't blame the kids on how they struggled when they started their clothing brand and what they are now it's pure hard work 
They've done a great job on the designs, functionality of their products. Whenever I see their success, I can look back into my brand and uh, reflect on the glory days that I have before for Nick Automatic. And it just makes me happy. It makes me happy for them and makes me happy for the clothing industry now. Recently, we had a collaboration last year and it was so huge. Don't blame the kids and Nick Automatic blended really well. The collaboration was a huge success. We've woven well our in individual brands DNA people were really digging our collaboration until now they're still looking for our collaboration and I think it's sold out already so maybe another collaboration in the years to come who knows uh, on the top spot of my list drum roll please friends billionaire boss dead ways Friends, thank you for this shirt. It's really awesome. Friends is a really good friend of mine and I really admire how his brand turned out to be the biggest thing in Cebu right now. In fact, Dead Ways is one of the pioneers in Cebu streetwear. I always remembered when I started Nick Automatic and also Franz was starting the brand Product of Uranus. Eventually, he scrapped Product of Uranus and came up with the brand Dead Ways, which is really influential in the Cebu street culture right now. What I love about his designs is the simplicity the old school Americana style and I always love France wit on the design so it's like a France signature thing you know so I love how he gathers different communities in Cebu like skateboarding bikes the outdoor lifestyle motorsports and everything controversial and playful marketing strategies he's a perfect example of putting yourself into the brand for aspiring clothing brand owners you should check out France Villeneuve you should check out Dead Ways Actually, it's not only that. There's a lot of really good clothing brands in the Philippines. I would like to point out honorable mentions that really caught my attention recently. Rise of Brutality, High Minds Clothing, The Higher Class, and the list goes on. Oh yeah, Omiboshi, my wife's brand. Check it out. So guys, thank you for checking out my list. Please do subscribe to my channel. Click that red button below. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You can check out the links below. Thank you so much. See you soon.